Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sahana Shetty. I am a consultant endocrinologist, professor and head at the Department of Endocrinology, Kasturba Medical College and Kasturba Hospital, Manipal. Today I am here to discuss about thyroid disorders. We all know thyroid disorders is very common. So let us understand the thyroid gland. The thyroid gland is an endocrine gland. It's a butterfly shaped structure which is present in the center of our neck. Now what does this gland do? Since it's an endocrine gland, it secretes thyroid hormone. Basically the most important ones are the thyroid uh, T4 and the T3. Now these hormones are released into the blood streams and through the blood streams it reaches the various organs and cells and regulates important processes in these organs and cells. For example, it regulates how fast a heart must beat, what should be the, uh, the, the digestive process. Uh, it also regulates the menstrual cycles, it regulates the central nervous systems, thus it can regulate several important processes in our body. Now let us understand the abnormalities in the thyroid gland or the diseases which can occur in the thyroid gland. So you can basically have two types of disorders. One is pertaining to the thyroid hormones where you can have deficiency or reduced thyroid hormone levels in the blood which is called as hypothyroidism or you can have conditions where there is excess thyroid hormone which is called as hyperthyroidism. So uh, let us understand hypothyroidism. It's a condition where the thyroid gland is not producing sufficient thyroid hormones in the body. So the symptoms would be um, weight gain, constipation, cold intolerance, dry skin, feeling tired, fatigued, lethargic, menstrual abnormalities, excessive sleepiness, etc. So these are the symptoms of hypothyroidism. On the contrary, in hyperthyroidism, the symptoms are opposite because like I said, in hypothyroidism, there is an excess secretion of thyroid hormone. So the symptoms would be weight loss, high heartbeat, one could have palpitations, sweating, nervousness, loss of sleep, increased bowel movements presenting as diarrhea, etc. So these are the symptoms of hyperthyroidism. So the second set of thyroid disorders you come across is the swellings in the thyroid gland where often the patients present with the neck swellings. Now this neck swellings could be because of the different kinds of swellings in the thyroid gland. It could be the enlargement of the gland which is called as a goiter or it could be nodules in the gland which could be single or multinodular goiters and sometimes it could be thyroid cancers. So diagnosing thyroid disorders, uh, the first we need to do is a thyroid function test. We do a TSH, a total T4 and a free T4. By doing these tests, we can identify conditions like hypothyroidism where you have a high TSH and a low T4 or free T4 and hyperthyroidism where you can have low TSH and a high T4 or a free T4. Now, uh, to understand the cause of hypo or hyperthyroidism, we might have to do additional blood tests or scannings depending on the conditions. And then coming to the diagnosis of swellings of the thyroid glands, which could be goiter or nodules or early malignancies, we, other than the thyroid function test, we also have to do thyroid images. It could be an ultrasound thyroid, it could also be other kind of images and sometimes we may require a FNAC from the thyroid gland. Now let's look at the treatment of thyroid disorders. Now again, the treatment of thyroid disorders would depend upon the underlying thyroid disease we are talking about. Now when we talk about hormonal disorders, hypothyroidism we know is the most common thyroid disorders we see in our day to day practice. For hypothyroidism, the treatment is very straightforward. I said it's a condition where there is a deficiency of thyroid hormone. So what we do is we just replace this thyroid hormone. The thyroid hormone thyroxine is available in the form of a tablet which is replaced or given as a replacement for treatment for patients with hypothyroidism. And since we are replacing the deficient hormone, this treatment is considered to be safe and effective and gives good symptom relief to the patients. Now coming to the treatment of hyperthyroidism, again this depends on the cause. Depending on what is causing hypothyroidism, it could be medications which give to reduce the synthesis of thyroid hormones uh, when there is a state of excess thyroid hormones or in some patients we might require radioiodine therapy and very very rarely may require surgeries. Now coming to the thyroid swellings, again it depends on what type of swelling it is. Most of these times the thyroid swellings are benign conditions and may not be causing any problem to the patients. In those conditions, uh, we might just keep the patients on observations. But if the thyroid nodules are secreting hormones, uh, then we might need treatment. Or if they have suspicious findings or there is a risk of malignancies, then we might have to consider surgery in those cases. So this is pertaining to the treatment of 
thyroid disorders. Although these disorders are very common, we need to understand that it's very easy to diagnose and treat and by taking appropriate treatment, we can prevent complications and also good, have good symptomatic relief and lead a normal life. Thank you.